And Nicholas Chiesa has also had a very calm race, cleanly running around in second place. For a while, we thought he was going to have to do battle with... Unlike the Nicholas Chiesa that we saw at Imola <laughs> just a few weeks back, who bounced off everybody at least once, sometimes twice. And uh, in this one place where you'd expect there to be a lot of trouble, he uh, drove by with no problem. And the winner of the race in Monaco, it is Bjorn Verheim. Arden International. And that's the Den V guys in the blue who are just happy because they're man. Because he did, he, did cross the, he did cross the line before he did all that slowing <laughs> I down. Wasn't didn't quite he? Yes, I'm not sure. sure about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait I a think minute. the pillock slowed up. They've won it. He didn't get to the he didn't get to the checkered flag. What the heck was he thinking of? See, he come, he's got it. The oh, first. he lost the race! I, I he lost the race! I thought he'd done that wrong when he came by the Boy. pit slowly. Christian. I must apologize, David. I thought he had crossed the line. I oh. thought it, I just assumed he had. Yeah. I looked away well, for he a moment and looked back. He obviously assumed he had too. What an in, in for, oh my God. Well, well the, the only good news <laughs> for Bjorn Verheim is he only threw away two points, points this year from first to second. Nicholas Chiesa has won the Formula 3000 race at Monaco by virtue of Bjorn Verheim slowing up to wave at his crew and never going past the checkered flag.